Hi, I'm Mr. McLaughlin. Welcome to Unit 1, Module 1, Lesson 1. Why should we learn programming for music? Well, this chapter is going to cover the basics of EarSketch and the layout of the site and how to navigate through various components. Why do we really want to learn programming for music? Well, computers have greatly expanded the possibilities for getting involved in music. The musician toolbox has grown and new skills are needed to use these tools. Programming involves creativity, so it fits well with making music. You learn to think in both a structural and creative way that is a valuable combination. Programming experience also opens the door to many great lucrative careers, whether you're interested in biology, physics, finance, math, robotics, education, making games, graphics, design, music, literature, chemistry, any other field, knowing how to program will help you to become more well-rounded. Most importantly, anyone who, uh, including you, who can learn to program uh, can learn to play music as well. So it takes a consistent practice to make progress. Don't get discouraged if you get stuck. This is part of the process. Ask for help in your class. In EarSketch, you will be making music by writing what are called algorithms, or code that the computer understands as a set of instructions. Some reasons why you might want to program to create music is you can automate some tedious tasks. Sometimes uh, you might want to combine hundreds or even thousands of snippets of sound taken from dozens of audio files. You can do this through our graphical user interface called the GUI, GUI manually by clicking and dragging audio files, but it would take uh, many, many hours. You can create the same music in much less time if you can efficiently describe what you want the program to do. You can easily experiment with code. What if the song you created out of thousands of audio segments isn't quite perfect? You would have to go back and tweak it and find out where the issues are, adjusting volume, making everything uh, complicated within the, in the GUI. However, if you do it with programming, you can quickly explore these different things, what ifs, by writing some code and changing one or two lines. You can roll the dice. In other words, you can add some randomness to your song. So that way it plays music in a way that you can never recreate on your own and the computer kind of creates it yourself. So what we're going to do first is take a look at an example of some music that you might be able to play inside of your sketch. So take a look at the video below. 